Good morning, my friends. Welcome, making clouds with mud flap. As you can see, it's a little cool. It's early in the morning on Sunday, November the twelfth. My buddy's birthday. The guy I'm going to see the game with. So I'm gonna have myself a little evil rip to start the day. And then I gotta get on the road, get into town, meet the bus, and uh, off to Detroit for the Lions and Browns game. Uh, we're doing a tailgate with some steak on a bun and. Sausage on a bun and all that, so it should be a good freaking eat. So we're getting there a little early, so we'll start her out right in the morning. Breakfast champions. <coughs> oh, that'll wake the lungs up in the morning. Oh, there's so much fucking flavor there. Mmm, mmm. should be one last puff in here for me before we go. As you can see, it's working already. The first one's always the nicest. Which just remind me, after taking this last puff, I need to take my medical cannabis cards out of my wallet because if they see them in my wallet when I cross the border, I will be not allowed into the country ever again. So... Better than take care of that. Anyways, I'm on the road. We'll see you there. Well, I wasn't sure if the dogs were going to be into it. It's uh, 20 to 6 in the morning, and I didn't know if they'd be up for their regular walk on a Sunday, but they seem to be into it. All right, guys, let's go. Come on. Off to America. Well, my friends, looks like we made it to the bar. 6.30, there's the bus. I gotta have my last smoke before I get on the bus because obviously crossing the border. It's 6.31. Got myself a Timmy's, dark roast, black. That's how I like my coffee. Looks like the bus is pulling around back so we can load up all the foods. Anyways, my friends, I'm going to finish this thing outside, get some fresh air, get my stuff loaded up, continue making myself stinky. Oh, yeah, what a way to start the morning, eh? Obviously, with the Evo Rip. And then this, got a nice big edible for the trip. We'll have to eat that just before we cross the border. Last time I made the mistake and ate it about, I don't know, 50 kilometers from the border. And we ended up taking a little bit longer and I had the smiles when I crossed. So I don't want to have that again. Not that it matters, but always better to be less conspicuous when you're trying to get into a foreign country, especially America. They seem to be so uh, hard to, on their uh, visitors these days. And if they know you're a cannabis user, mm -mm -mm, you will not be allowed entry, even if it's medicinal. All right, well, it's 6.32, so my shift starts at 6.30. <laughs> shift. The fun begins. All right, my friends, see you later. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Yeah. Well, set to watch the Detroit Lions absolutely pummel the Cleveland Browns today. Yeah. All us Lion fans will not be surprised one bit if Cleveland wins this game. <laughs> you're gonna suck. You're gonna suck. <laughs> hey, let's give it up for Chris. He's our bus driver today. <laughs> He's gonna make sure that we get there safe and sound. We're not gonna be passing the hat away back for him. So please bear that in mind. Uh, we're going to make one quick stop in Tilbury for you guys that want to have a quick smoke, like 10 minutes. Other than that, we're going to cross the tunnel. We're going to go to the Eastern Market parking uh, garage area. We're going to sit there and uh, we're parked there. We're going to set up the tailgate barbecue. We've got uh, steak and a bum. We've got sausage. We've got salads. We've got all kinds of stuff going on there. Caesars and screwdrivers and fun stuff like that. Does that sound good? Yeah. This is Dell. Joseph Cole Pilot today. 
Freddie's your cook today. I'm just a guy hanging out here. So. Other than that, we're going to put some uh, movies on. We're going to have some fun. Everybody's got their passport. All your bartenders today are Jasmine and Katie Mack. Yay! I'll have a cold beer. So we're all covered here then. The bar's going to be dead today, but hey. <laughs> Other than that, we're going to put some movies on. We're going to have a lot of fun. I hope you guys have a great time, guys.
here at quarter to six in the morning and I got back at 10 after 10 the game was over at four the uh, bathroom on the bus wasn't working so we had to um, make a few more stops on the way home and yeah just just a, a long long day not a huge NFL fan but I had fun with my buddy the Americans really love their patriotic war, and but then again, it was the uh, Remembrance Day or Memorial Day or whatever it is in the States weekend. I get it, but uh, yeah, just a little different for me to see that. Really needing a smoke right now. I haven't had one since after the game. I had a couple doobies left to smoke, and that was it. I usually have a joint uh, in the car for when I get back, but um, buddy says, oh, we're going to stop in Tilbury, because I only brought one. And uh, Tilbury's about halfway to the border, and I thought, well, I'm going to bring that so I can smoke it before we, you know, get back on the bus. And then I didn't have one for when we got back, but we're going to take advantage of that now.
<coughs> yeah, so I had my edible about uh, 10, 10.30, half an hour before we got to the border. <coughs> I've seen some um, footage of the bus we took there. That was when we stopped at Tilbury. Um, all the Canadian icons painted on the side. Um, got to the game. Or sorry, got to the East Market where we parked the bus, uh, which is where all the buses park for the tailgating. And did up the barbecue, had some fun, as you see, and went to the game. I mean, it was, it was a good game and all that. I'm just not a, a huge football fan, to be honest. It felt really weird. I guess I was wearing my brown shirt, but I was probably one of the only people in the stadium that didn't have any football paraphernalia on. And I felt really weird a few times when people were like, Hey, look at that guy's got a Peters jersey on. When did Peters play for the Lions? It's like, you're asking the wrong freaking dude. <coughs> it was a little rainy, but other than that, it was it was fairly warm. Um, really hot in the stadium. Uh, there was like 64,000 some odd people there. They said it was the highest or the, the biggest crowd they've had for a one o'clock game at Ford Field. So I guess, yay. A lot of people. Yeah, the edible started wearing off about yeah, halfway through the game, basically. <coughs> well, not wearing off, but starting to um, wane. <coughs> it's a good thing I brought uh, four doobies with me because I had a couple before we got on afterwards. But <coughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, all in all, it was a good day. It was my buddy's birthday. Uh, he was 52. Um, so kind of reminiscent. Um, probably the last football game I'll get to. I'll probably get to one more game in Montreal for hockey the, in January to see the Habs and the Bruins play. And I think we're going on family day to Detroit to see the Leafs play and get to see the new arena. And that'll probably be just about it. It felt kind of sentimental in a way, getting together and doing that with Bill, knowing that there ain't going to be too many more bus trips. Um, not that I enjoy the crowds. I enjoy hanging out with my friend and all that. But, uh, yeah, there was 35 people on the bus, 37 including me and Bill, but uh, usually they're packed 55 people, and we usually go to Cleveland for the game, but because the game they were get, would have gone to in Cleveland would have been in late December, it would have been pretty darn cold, and the fact they were playing in Detroit while well, we went there instead. So I have been to three or four different uh, stadiums for football. I went to the Palace, or sorry, um, the original one for Detroit, which was the Silverdome, now the Ford Field I've been to a couple times. I've been to Rich Stadium in Buffalo phew, numerous times. What a tailgate they got there. And then I went to Cleveland once to a game. Uh, I really liked that because I got to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame before the game. So that was really cool. Other than that, it's just nice to be home. <coughs> I uh, I told them at work that I was going to possibly take the day, day off if I got home late enough. Well, it was a 1 o'clock game and leaving so early. I thought I'd be home by 8, so... I'm going to take the day tomorrow anyways. I love this last puff, and uh, I think we're going to call her a night. I'm a little tucker. Cheers, my friends. smoking on that sweet cheese oh excuse my slurping had a few beers today but other than that got a little bit of a headache I think more from the crowd and the buzz and all that after the edibles started to wear off it started to I don't know bother me well my friends hopefully enjoyed some of that footage um I didn't get as much uh work with the cameras I wanted to I was trying not to let people know I was filming and didn't really take the best of ones anyways, but uh, at least you got to come along and see if you've never been to a tailgate. They're a lot of fun, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good now, so hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the footage. Thanks for coming and hanging out and spending some time with me. I do appreciate it, and always remember, be proud of your clouds. Peace, my friends.